All right, so what we're going to do is create an external cascading style sheet. This is going to give us the ability to make global changes across our website through one document. All right, so let's go up here to File, New. Okay, it's going to bring up this little palette here, and we want a basic blank page, which is a CSS, cascading style sheet. Now, there are, are lots of preset cascading style sheets that you can choose from. So here's one for Times, for Danya. There's one that's a blue, purple. You have lots and lots of choices of pre-built style sheets that you can go in and just uh, predefine all these. Okay, I'm going to choose a blank one. I'll show you how to add these by yourself. So we'll just hit Create. Now, this page is very plain looking. There's not a lot of uh, cool uh, graphics to this. But what we will do is grab some of this stuff from our previous page. So we'll go to our code. We're going to take this uh, initial style right here where it says period style one all the way to the, this last curly bracket. Okay, we can right click and choose cut. So we'll cut that and we'll just right click and paste. Simple as that. Okay, we'll go ahead and save this, control S. And we've got to give this a name. Okay, so this will be our site CSS. Okay, so for our site style sheet, hit OK, and we'll close this. Now, if we look here, this has gone back to normal. All right, but what I need to do is link a style sheet to this site. So let, let me go down here where it says, you see a little chain link in the CSS panel. I'll click that little chain link, and I'm going to say, OK, find that CSS file. There it is. We hit OK. And at this point, I don't want to import. I want to just link to this. Now, you notice here where it says media? Well, this is pretty cool. You can actually create different style sheets for a print page, a handheld like a Palm Pilot or a tr like a Trio phone, a screen, a projection, um, um, people who have uh, uh, assistance with uh, braille machines. So you have the ability to create custom style sheets based off the type of media that you're going to use it for. And uh, that's it's a pretty, pretty amazing little uh, ability to just quickly add this without having to do all the code on the back end. All right, we'll hit OK. And you notice this now found its formatting. Okay, And right up here, you'll see all rules. And we have style one and I'm actually going to rename style one okay we'll go right click and choose go to code which will open that file I'm going to rename that from um, style one to content header no spaces here okay and I'm actually going to add one more element to this let me just hit refresh Okay, I want to add one more uh, little element, and that's um, if I let's see if I can double click here. You'll notice where it says decoration. I'm going to choose none and hit OK. Now, that's not one of those things that you have to do. I find that it's uh, very helpful in having this on there. And what that means is there's no underlining, there's no um, bolding, or not bolding, the um, uh, italicizing, none of that. Okay, so we'll hit. Yes to save this. Okay, now we did lose link because um, it didn't know what the name of it was. So we'll just relink it with content header, and there we go. We've actually created a content header piece of text. All right. Next, we're going to go in and actually add um, a style to a tag, and this is where you can have a lot of fun with. Um, style sheets because right now this is just added to the text okay this is we didn't really take it one step further and say okay this is on a particular type of format which is what we're gonna modify this to be next